What will his verdict be on the possible involvement of fellow German Anton Führer? Oh, there it is. Look at this chance. This is, wow, wow, wow. I, I've been looking at pictures of this for six years. I, what strikes me is how clear the writing is, how each character has been clearly defined. So, Harry, you've been staring at this for a long time. Is this a fake? I can definitely say this is not a fake. How can you say that? First, the script is absolutely authentic. Uh, the object is authentic. The language is the language of that time and that area of India. Now, the obvious perpetrator is Dr. Fear. Now, surely he could have done this. Uh, yes, he was employed as an archaeologist. Um, but his uh, knowledge of Sanskrit was deficient. The text uses a vocabulary like uh, Nidhani, which is not found at any other place. Harry, that unusual word you use there, what's the significance of that? The term is Nidhani, and it means container in a neutral sense. It's only found on this casket, no, no other place. So in other words, it'd be very unusual for Führer to have picked on this very obscure word. Uh, yes, since Führer was a uh, not-so-skilled Sanskritist, to say it mildly, um, he would have uh, copied terms from other reliquaries and uh, not coined the term on his own. Everything surpasses the capacities of Dr. Führer immensely. So it is a genuine and unique inscription? Absolutely, yes. Sukiti Bhati Nams Sabhakinikanam Saputadalanang Yang Salila Nidhani Buddha Sabhakava Sa Sakiya and then he he ran out of space and he added two letters yes, on top of it uh, saying Yanam. Now for for me, Harry, what does that say? This reliquary which is the reliquary of the Buddha, the lord of the Shakya clan in, uh, in the Terai. So Harry, you're absolutely confident that this reliquary contained the remains of the Buddha? Yes, we can be absolutely confident because the text says uh, Buddha sa salile Makavate. That means these are the relics of the Buddha, the Lord. So, this world expert is convinced that the vital inscription is genuine, clearing the name of Willy Pepe. But now a deeper